Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. So glad that you've joined us where we will spend some time in prayer, sharing the word and worship unto our God. Today I want to talk about the vitality of godly prayers. Godly prayers cannot be underestimated. We see in the life of the Son of God and the fact that he prayed before he started his ministry in Luke chapter 3 verse 21 when all the people were being baptized Jesus came and was baptized too and while he was praying the sky opened we see in the book of John chapter 17 verse 21 Jesus prayed Father, I pray that all who believe in me can be one. You are in me and I am in you. And I pray that they can also be one in us. Then the world will believe that you sent me. Today, the Bible says in Hebrews 7 verse 25, Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them prayers vital energetic necessary man must always pray and not faint prayer Godly prayer connects us with God. C. H. Spurgeon once said, "Whether we like it or not, asking is the rule of the kingdom. If you may have everything by asking in His name, and nothing without asking, I beg you to see how absolutely vital prayer is." end of quote what is your desire what is your desire concerning prayer are you willing to hide like adam or would you come boldly to the throne of grace let us pray father thank you for the revelation the understanding of prayer we need to know so that we may apply and be effective and fervent for the effectual and fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much and so i call for the body of christ even in this last week the prayer warriors the intercessors that we will indeed take ownership of this solemn act of worship and pray so that we may be connected So that we may be one with you as you were with the Father. We pray for those who lead the nations indeed, our Prime Minister, all of Parliament, their families. We pray for those who lead in the medical profession, those who lead in the service industry. We pray for leaders everywhere. We will pray. We will seek your face. We will turn from our wicked ways. We thank you now. for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere we commit to you today as we devote as we spend time in prayer as we spend time in your word as the disciples declare Lord teach us to pray may it be our desire today in Jesus name amen God bless you keep you make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you lift up his countenance upon you give you peace have a great day in the lord